there. I finally got all cleaned up. Uh, just stay tuned, people. You never know what I'm going to do next. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my uh, making egg noodles video. I'll try to put a link to it at the end of this video. But today we're making uh, chicken and noodles with the noodles that I made. And uh, you know, when I was growing up, we had uh, chicken and noodles over mashed potatoes. And a lot of people I tell that they think it's crazy, but I guess it's just maybe it's a Kansas thing. I don't know. But that's how we do it. But uh, I have a little spin on that recipe. And to me, it's a little bit easier. And, uh, you know, see what you think. Okay, so the first thing I do is I get my old pot. And then I put in a couple of chicken breasts. And you know, boil it. I like to cook the chicken in there in the water. And then uh, I added a little bit of bouillon because I like a little bit more chicken flavor. I guess you could also use chicken stock if you want. And chicken's going to bring out a little bit of flavor, so I guess you could, you know, add a little bit of water to the chicken stock. And basically, I just bring it to a boil and, and cook my chicken. And uh, you know, this old pot, we've been together for a long time and we've been through thick and thin. I need to come up with a name for this old pot. So, if you guys can help me think of a name, you know, leave a comment. Can you imagine? You know, they say dogs' sense of smell is like 10 times that of a human being. So, can you imagine if I can smell it like it is? What he must be thinking? <laughs> Actually, I just made that up. I don't know if it's 10 times or not. But Okay, now our chicken's pretty much cooked. I mean, it doesn't even have to be cooked all the way. The reason I do this is because, to me, after it's cooked, it's a lot easier to cut. I mean, you can cut it beforehand. It's just a lot, e a lot harder to deal with. So I just do it this way. And then I'll just stick it over here to the side and just let it cool so you don't burn your hands when you're trying to cut it. Okay, I le just leave my water in there boiling. While that's uh, boiling I, and my chicken's cooling, I grab some potatoes and I dice them up, kind of like you do for mashed potatoes. And I just add them to it. back to the next step. Okay what I did with this chicken is I cut it into strips so it'll cool faster and as you can see it wasn't quite done but that's okay because we're gonna cook it some more. But once you get it cooked like this you know you just cut it I just cut it into small pieces. Just, just add it into there. Okay, we got our potatoes in there and our chicken cooking. Now, if you don't want potatoes in there, you know, you don't have to add them. You can just skip that step and just do the chicken and the noodles. So, but that's always a good idea to taste it. And uh, I like to taste it and make sure that, you know, there's enough chicken flavor. At this point, you know, if you need a little bit more chicken flavor, you can add a little bit more bouillon. But I'm gonna use my big boy spoon here. Oh yeah, it tastes good. Okay, now when your potatoes cook, just like you know the mashed potatoes, when they start to get soft like that, you're still gonna have to boil them a little bit more so they start to break apart like that. Then we're gonna add our egg noodles that we made. And you know, you can use a little bit more flour than I did and they won't stick together so bad, but hopefully it'll come apart when I'm cooking it. You know, we're just keeping it real here, folks. See that they're coming apart nicely. Now these egg noodles don't take too terribly long. Just basically want to boil them for a little while. 
And I'll show you the next step. Okay, so my egg noodles have been going for about five minutes. And so uh, I usually, you know, they'll thicken up a little bit with the with the noodles, but I like mine a little thicker. So I'm going to add some, some roux. And it's just basically vegetable oil and flour. And, you know, if you don't know how to do that, you can watch my how to make cream gravy the wrong way video and uh, tell you all about it. This is just a simpler way for me. I can use this for a lot of things and uh, kind of takes the guesswork out of it for me. So just add a little bit of a little bit of your roux, a little bit at a time. And like I said, if you you know if you get it a little too thick, you can add a little water and thin it back down a little bit. Uh, you know, as long as you don't add too much water, it's not going to hurt the flavor very much, or if at all. And when I add this roux, I just usually give it, you know, 30 seconds or so. Just to kind of see how thick I'm going to get it. You know, I like it to stick to the spoon, you know. I don't like it, you know, dribbling down my chin and whatever. I guess, you know, you could always save it for later. Maybe just a little bit more. I think that's going to be perfect. Looks good. Well, there you have it. Homemade chicken and noodles. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and share and, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you hit that little bell at the bottom, you know, just right down there by the subscribe. Uh, if you hit that little bell, it'll give you notifications and let you know when all my videos come out. I also put a link down to my Facebook page and I post all my videos on there too. So, hope you guys have a good day and uh, remember to keep it simple. Um, today we're going to make uh, chicken and noodles with that chicken, uh, whatever, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, while I'm making this video, neighbor's over there mowing. Uh, he's actually doing it. Usually his wife's out there doing it, so <laughs> good for him.